I am making some sausage egg breakfast burritos this morning. So I wanted to take you along with me while I do this and I'm going to show you just how easy this is and what a great breakfast this is. So let's get started. To make these breakfast burritos you're going to need some flour tortillas, cheese, eggs, and sausage. I have a pound of Jimmy Dean sausage here and you can use whatever brand that you like. You could also make it meatless. Um, you can just have the scrambled eggs and the cheese in it if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, when my when I had teenage boys at home, I used to actually add hash brown potatoes sometimes just to make them a little bit more hearty. The first thing that we're going to do is scramble up the eggs. And you might be wondering about how many eggs and how much to put in. It's really very flexible. You can do whatever you want. I am going to be doing six eggs. And we'll see... I never know exactly how many burritos I'm going to get out of it. If you want to make a lot of these, it's really simple. Just make more eggs, more sausage, more cheese. I'm aiming for about a dozen so that I can just leave them in the refrigerator. Um, that will last us three or four mornings. You can also flash freeze them, which is laying them on a cookie sheet and putting them in the freezer. Once they've frozen, then you can put them all in a Ziploc bag. Or you can wrap them in plastic wrap, saran wrap, and freeze them, put them in a Ziploc bag, and just freeze them right away. The trick to cooking scrambled eggs on a frying pan and having as little sticking as possible is, of course, to start with a well-seasoned frying pan. But the other trick is, is to wait until your frying pan is nice and hot which mine is, and then you add some butter. Once your butter has melted, then go ahead and put your eggs in. The second trick is to wait. Don't over stir them. The tendency is to want to start mixing them around, but if you allow them to start cooking a little bit and you see some bubbles coming up, <clears throat> that will help a lot. You'll have a lot less sticking. Okay, you can see I've got some bubbles popping up and things are moving. So I'm going to kind of gently move them around now. And then wait a little bit more. And you can see I'm getting very little sticking going on. And as you fold them around, just kind of break them up. All right, they look good to me now. So we're going to put them in a bowl, set them aside, and cook the sausage. And as you can see, very little sticking on the pan. I am just going to take a wet cloth and wipe, and just wipe it out and get ready now to cook the sausage. My sausage is cooked, and now I'm going to show you how I assemble them. To make the burritos, it's pretty simple. You're going to put a scoop of the sausage down, and you can use as much or as little as you like. It's all up to you. That's what makes this recipe so flexible. If you're on a budget and you just want to do eggs, you can do that, and just a little bit of sausage for flavor. That works. You can add potatoes, like I said earlier, hash browns. You add your scoop of eggs and your cheese. And now you're going to roll them up. I take the sides and bring them to the center. I take the end closest to me and bring it forward and kind of pull back to tuck in all my ingredients. Fold in my corners and finish roll. Finish the roll. There you go. And now I just repeat this process until I don't, until I start running out of ingredients. Well, there you go, folks. I ended up with 11 breakfast burritos, so that should keep us with plenty of breakfast food for the next few days, unless I decide to freeze some of them. Um, if you like this video, could you please give it a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, would you please consider subscribing? And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.